absolutely love the first episode. Top-notch everything. Felt like I was watching a Ron Howard movie, which is a high, high compliment. Everything about that first episode was fantastic. Except, what a surprise. I looked up, I was trying to look up who it is, but... <clears throat> White actors. Just finished the first episode. I thought it was a really well done episode. Everything from from acting to to the set design. It was the, 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 they made it look just like the period from the vehicles to the clothes to everything. I thought it was a really strong. Jim is really strong. All the actors are really strong outside of the white actor. I, I didn't I didn't like him and uh, some small CGI stuff. Other than that, very good first episode. Um, already interested in what's going to happen in the coming episodes. So. Very good. Just finished episode two. Really good ending on it uh, with Jim and um, I need to figure out the supporting actors. Um, the, his partner's name. He's really good as well. I think we've seen him in something. Um, I like that the show's kind of taking its time because originally I thought this was all going to be about, you know, India building its first atomic bomb. I mean, obviously I'm sure it'll get there, but it's kind of taking its time in a way I didn't expect and I like it. Um, because obviously everything's done so well. The acting, the set design, the, the story is told really well. I like they're building uh, relationships with these people, um, their relationship with others. I like the two love interests so far, Jim's and um, um, the dancer girl. I think they're both really, really good. I'm really interested in where it's going. It's, it feels like it's kind of heating up now, um, now that Jim's leaving and and stuff like that. So um, I'm, I think I'm hooked. Finished episode three. It's a sad ending for for my boy Jim. <laughs> um, really good episode though. Um, I don't know why I'm looking over here. My wife is over here, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's really it was a really good episode. It's actually interesting. Like it's focused primarily on their relationships and not really about rockets as of yet. I thought we were gonna have rockets going everywhere, but uh, so far it's very good. I'm, I'm enjoying the show. Finished episode four, another really good episode. I'm really enjoying the show. I'm um, liking how they're twisting in all the history into each episode now. So from the Hiroshima bomb um, and then SPB. Uh, uh, yeah, it's Abdul. SP, no, not SPB. Um, sorry. Um, at the end there and then uh, Independence and everything like that. So it's... it's uh, it's really doing a good job at, at weaving all that and still keeping you interacting with all these characters and all the acting's doing really good so far so <laughs> just finished episode five i think that was the best episode yet lots of drama and um uh some really really great scenes with uh, jim and the uh that guy he got the contract with to vikram and his wife vikram's being a real dick uh, to his wife. Uh, and then Homie and uh, what's her name? Pipsy. Pipsy. They're really great. Really sad because Pipsy is. Uh, Homie's not great for Pipsy. Because not ready for commitment. But I thought the scenes were great. And then the whole scene in the, when he got the commissioner job or uh, of the board uh, was really good. And then there was a lot of tension in this episode. So, real nice. Just finished episode six. Here's another really good one. This one's called The Guy's Fucking Everything Up. But it's good. I mean, not for them. But the show. Just finished episode seven. Second to last episode of season one, at least. Very good. Very intense. Very suspenseful. Also, I do still want to uh, shout out the production value. All the sets and like costume design, cars, has been incredible. All the acting has been really, really good. And now it's just ended where it began. Um, and so, yeah, and you learned, I, obviously I'm just taking it at face value, but you're learning a lot of kind of history from this as well. Um, of how a lot of this came about and the events that transpired in a kind of like a fast way. 
She's done a really, really good job. What do you think, babe? She's still mad at Vikram. I hope he dies. <laughs> but did he die, Leland? Just finished it. Leland was watching with me. He's very sad. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'd be interested to know how accurate all of this was to what actually happened. So you guys can let us know. But. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's of Corbin. Me llamo es Ricardo. Um. I'm trying to remember the intro in, in Hindi. Namaste, apka firse, swagate, humara, our stupid reactions, you idiots. How did it say my name? Miranam hey Corbin. Miranam hey Corbin. Miranam hey Rick. I swear they still remember that. Oh, I uh, am too. I have you probably know header still too, don't you? I pro If I tried, I yeah, probably I you most of it. Probably yeah. not all of it because, man, that thing was so fast. Anyways, today we're doing hey. a series review, everyone. Our first of first 20, of the year, twenty one. Uh, hopefully, ba, ba. we'll get to more than ha. we got to last year. Last year, we only got to two. Yep. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to at least five this yes. year. I well, part of that was because obviously there was not as much stuff in production. Yeah. Anyways, but we watched Rocket Boys. I'm a Rocket Boy. Rocket Boy. <laughs> and uh, we kind of did it because, um, as you guys know, uh, since we talked about scam, and we will still get to scam. Do not worry. Uh, <laughs> and I thought, you know what, the other show, uh, I wanted to see Kubra's show. It's not a Hindi show. It's no, I know. I, I, I know. That's yeah. the that's the challenge. Um, but anyway, uh, If you don't know Kubra's show, you should see, it's Foundation, you should see that show. Um, foundation, right? I don't know. Anyways, but yeah, the Sony LIV, uh, or Sony Live, um, it, uh, they don't allow any picture-in-picture -picture at all. So uh, I yeah. decided to do it this way, the way you guys saw us at the intro. A uh, little, a couple of stuff, what we thought about the end of each episode, similar to what we did with the documentary. Um, so you guys can let us know if you like that. If not, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's going to be a, eh, if you're already watching, actually, actually, yeah, I guess you probably did. We didn't spoil anything in the intros parts. No, we'll, we'll, we'll. Uh, little non-spoiler. Non-spoiler, right. then into the spoiler it's, it's, land. It's difficult. Yeah, but it is With hard. a series, it's difficult. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. So I have a paragraph. Okay. Uh, after watching back to back to back to back to back shows over the past three years, as fantastic as Sacred Gams, Mirzapur, Patalok, Family Man, Delhi Crimes, Made in Heaven, did I miss any? Okay. You had to expect that eventually we'd get to a series that wasn't as good as those. There was just no way Indian television could keep hitting six after six after six. Eventually we'd see a show we didn't like. That hasn't happened yet. Um, <laughs> I, was Rocket, to, I was like, Rocket. I think he's making a joke. Yeah. Was, <laughs> Rock, Rocket Boys is as good a show as a beautiful mind and imitation game are films. Oh, it's, yeah, it's very it's, similar to those. Yeah. yeah, it's a perfect cast. It's spectacular writing, incredible costumes, production design, and direction that constantly reminded me of the best of Ron Howard and a score that reminded me of the best of Alexandra Desplat. I, I love the show. Can't wait for season two. And oh, yeah, thank God for Mark Bennington. Is he the one? The FBI agent. The one good the one? The head <laughs> FBI agent. The one good white actor, which we have seen him. He's done a lot of work and worked with some. I mean, he has shared screen time with Akshay. He has shared screen time with Irfan. Yeah, I, he, you definitely know it, and we'll get to it again. But, but um, yeah, this did had some white Thank actors God in it. for Mark Bennington. Uh, and not, they weren't all, like, the worst ones we've no, ever no, no. seen. But they, they weren't most atrocious. Most of them weren't good. Here's the thing. Yeah, they weren't, like, as jaw-droppingly, like, you pull your hair and you're like, yeah. oh, for the love of God, they weren't that. No. But compared to the rest of the cast, yeah, they, yeah. they, they weren't at their level. I mean, yeah, whenever you can, like, you kind of take a step down whenever there's white actor, except for him. You except notice when for he Mark was Bennington. on, I was like, he is good. Yes. Uh, he's very, very good. Very, very good, good actor. actor. Um, yeah, I, I, I agree. I thought it was a very good series. I was really into it. Me too. I haven't seen your snippets yet, but we will be right. to see them. Um, uh, when, the, the stuff you saw at the intro is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I kept saying, this is one just great acting. Yep. Uh, by Jim, by uh, the, our, our other leads as well. Yep. Uh, um, and then, man, the the cinematography. Yep. The production design, the costume design. Costume design. Was all amazing. Amazing. The direction. Uh, first of all, the the and you know, shout out. We do this sometimes when what really needs. 
the uniformity of the exceptional acting from everybody is is a credit to not just the director Abai Panu, but the casting director Kavish Sinha. The the casting for everybody in this, and like we just said, um, Ishwak Singh as Vikram, uh, obviously Jim mm -hmm. as yeah. uh, uh, our yeah our dost, and then uh, Regina Cassandra mm -hmm. and Rajit Kapoor as Nehru. I mentioned Mark Bennington. We, the list we could go down. I'm I'm not going to name the entire cast, but. Yeah, they were uh, uh, all... The, the things that most impressed me... All the Indians were really uh, good. Of course. <laughs> but, and we'll, we'll get into some of the things, and it'll include the spoilers. I was just consistently impressed with how much it reminded me of the best... And Ron Howard is one a fantastic Oscar-winning director. Mm -hmm. And it reminded me so much of what he does stylistically, and the score, mm. the theme and variation use on this score... And the way things were scored that could have easily been overscored. We talk mm -hmm. about that a lot. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm so, so happy that this show's going to get... I, if, it, if this hadn't gotten a second season, I would have been really, really upset. Yeah. Because it's... And I have some things to say about it that concern me. I'm, I'm really happy it's popular. Not just because it's good, but we'll talk about when we get into the spoilers. One of the reasons I was concerned it might not be watched or appreciated. We'll get into that later. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, if you haven't watched it, please go watch it. Um, that's our non-spoiler review. It's a it's great a good show. show. Go watch it. It's uh, definitely worth your time. Yep. Especially, probably, it's always, I say this, you, if we can appreciate it, I'm pretty sure Indians will probably appreciate it even more Way because more. it does have a lot of national pride stuff, a lot of stuff that will really get your blood going because of either stuff that was hap happened to India or, or just the accomplishments of India as a whole. Yeah. I think that uh, Indians can obviously enjoy that and appreciate that more. Absolutely. Um, so I would definitely go watch it if you haven't watched it. But yeah, we'll get into it. Jim, uh, our dost, um, and we don't just say stuff because people are our dosts, but luckily all of our dosts are fantastic actors. Yeah, it, I gotta <laughs> tell you, the more, the more dosts we acquire and talk to, the harder it is. It's like when you're invited to go see a play that a friend of yours is in, and you're hoping for their sake and everybody's, please be good. Please be good because you, you don't want to, you're not going to lie at the end of the day and no. you're rooting for them. You don't ever want somebody to fail at what they're doing, yeah. but we're human beings. Sometimes our work is poop. And thankfully, and it was such a, this was great. Such a different role for him too yeah. because he, normally he's at least, obviously the first thing we saw him was Bun Bun where he was opposite Renvier and he did an amazing job. Yeah. But like for, for a while, people were trying to place him in like this just asshole role of like right. being like the, the Made in Heaven Made role. In Heaven character. And obviously he talked about that and it was like, I'm... I don't want to be the mean person all the time. No. And this was almost like a Sherlock-esque role, right? Yeah, very. There were, in fact, like the violin moment. They, oh, yeah, that yeah, moment yeah, yeah, yeah. when he's in the room and he's wearing the smoking jacket had and his stuff scattered a, everywhere. I'm like, come on. Had to have been inspired That's straight heavily. straight up Sherlock. From Sherlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But I thought he did a really good job because it's such a different performance from his performance Agreed. in the heaven and anything else we've ever seen of his. Agreed. Because obviously it was a very complex character. This show, it surprised me in, in, in how it, went about, because I thought it was just going to be about the Rockets, right? Yeah. It started in almost all relationships. Relationships. I was shocked between at that as well. Between them two, between yep. their love interest mm -hmm. and others, uh, and all that kind of stuff. And it, it, a few episodes went on, and I'm like, I, I liked it. Me I was too. liking it. I was just surprised. I was like, I thought this was going to be about Rockets. We didn't get about Rockets really until yeah. later and, in the season. And that I'll, I'll get into the kind of thing that I'm so happy this show has been renewed, because you don't renew a show unless it's done well. And... My, here's my concern about the the show, is number one, it's on a platform that isn't as popular as some of the larger platforms. I think that it's are getting out there more right popular now. now. I, I hope so, and I With, hope Rocket Boys is the reason for that. Well, Scam, Rocket Boys, yep. and they're putting out other content. Right, as well. and, but and the other thing is this show, assuming you've watched it now, this show doesn't have the bells and whistles or the sexiness per se of like a Mirzapur yeah. or a Patalo. Like your games. Yeah, it's yeah. It, yeah it's it's for it's it's really for people like if you love reading books and if you enjoy history and you enjoy listening to higher level conversations and and talking about things that are of great consequence for people relationally as well as um, interrelationally and the kinds of the, the kinds of things that happen behind closed doors when people are making deep decisions about what's going to be happening with the uh, the future of a country it doesn't have the the shallow sex appeal that a lot of things do to try to attract viewers. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad it doesn't because it's telling you this story from history that's really grounded in the same way that 
it reminded me so much of films that I love, like The Imitation Game. Yeah. It's the same, same time frame in history, and very much the same thing, whereas in The Imitation Game, if you haven't seen that with Benedict Cumberbatch, it's a great true story, uh, and the the whole era and the clothing design and the production design and even the relational aspect and the fact that it's connected to government it's it's very similar and i give it a high compliment making it that way and i'm so glad that people have been paying attention to it on the merits of its its great artistry yeah. because it doesn't have a lot of the things that people include in shows especially in seasons 1 to try to Garner viewers. It I'm, just sticks to great stories. I story was actually telling. wondering if they thought they were going to be able to get a second season, because I felt at mm -hmm. times they would have probably liked to have had more time to flesh out. Because sometimes it jumped, yeah. and yeah. I was like, I'm wondering if you wanted to have more time, but you, they didn't. They were like, "You're a new show. I don't know yeah. if you're going to be able to right get it." And so they had to squeeze a little more in. Yeah, that's one of the things I noticed. Maybe maybe that's completely it, false and that's it not could true. Have been. But I just noticed that. It went a little fast at times in certain places where I was like, normally the show felt like it was trying to take its time. Yes. But sometimes you don't have the luxury of taking your time. Right. Because you're a new show. Yeah. You don't, uh, Jim, even though he's a fantastic actor, is not always the the lead in, yeah. in things. Unfortunately, I'm ho obviously OTT is changing that and it's wonderful that actors like Jim or Nawaz or Pankaj are getting the forefront because they're all amazing actors. But I, I'm wondering if they didn't think they might get a second season but I'm glad they did I'm glad they did too uh, because I think it, it, it's it, they did I want to see I want to see the rest of the story too yeah absolutely yeah it, they did a really good job with the whole story because uh, uh, Ishwak as well yeah did a really good job really complex character both of them I thought their both relationships were handled very well very well very, very believable very different as well but because I felt so bad for Jim and, and uh, P P what's her name Pipsy. Pipsy. I know. She's a lovely actress. Wonderful. Both of the leading ladies, as well as the supporting lady that came in yeah. later that played opposite Vikram yeah. here, I thought were exceptional. And yeah. I felt, I felt obviously, you felt really bad for both wives. Yeah. You know, Pipsy being the wife, a parent. Yeah. And I, I agree. It's a testament to every character in this. And this is, I'm sure it was true to history, but it's important in the storytelling. One of the most important things with creating characters is they have to have strong desires and wants that are really clear. And I felt like everybody was crystal clear in terms of what they wanted, why they wanted it, what they were sacrificing because of it. And nobody was painted as as a bad guy. They were all just basically human yeah. beings. It was really yeah, good. Him and Jim and Pipsy's relationship, I thought, was really neat because you were rooting for them. I was rooting they, for them. They, 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 they were great together. But obviously, it's Jim, homie, Jim, dude. Jim just couldn't um, be who she wanted him to be at that time, and it's understandable on both parts, which is good writing. Yeah, because you're not, you're not, you're like Jim, you idiot. Even though you're like Jim, you are an idiot. Come on, yeah. But you understand, yeah. Because like his focus right now, even though he'd love to be there for Pipsy, is he's trying. This is this is his passion. This is what he wants to do. And then Pipsy, you totally understand. She's been there for him this whole time. Yeah, but she can't wait around forever. Well, and it's interesting because. And they showed a great moment at the wedding. They really did. I thought that was a yeah, fantastic Yeah, I agree. Uh, and it's it's the same how both Homie and Vikram, are very, they were very different men. They both loved science and they both loved what they did, but they had very different reasons as to why they did what they did. But relationally, it's interesting. Well, even though Vikram gets married, he too is ruining mm -hmm. relationship in the midst of what he's doing vocationally, yeah. which is very common for people yeah. in high-driven areas of work where they find it almost impossible to balance relationship and yeah. work because of the drive they have for what they do. And his, his character was also so unique because he was almost suppressing his wife and her desires. Oh my goodness, but yes. It's, it's not, it wasn't made like, like you sometimes see in films of like, no, you can't do this. He thought he was being a good guy Yes. And I feel like that's very natural for a lot of people that they might like, I'm not a bad person. I'm not telling you to know. I'm just telling you to wait. Yeah, like when they I had, didn't have to wait for my dreams. But when, when they had the argument sequence when she was uh, telling him, okay, it's been how many years now and I want to pursue my dancing career. And he said, but I just, I have to ask you to be patient. So it's, they are both on the same page in terms of the patience. He just thought she'd be patient longer. Yeah. And she said, I've been patient longer than I thought you wanted me to be. And then obviously he makes huge mistakes. Huge and, mistake. And, but I thought it was super interesting and I liked what they did. That was not this integral part of the show. No. It was still about the science and this right. was just a little blimp in their life. I, I'm assuming 
they might address it later or they might not. Because yeah. sometimes that, in life that just happens. Yeah. Somebody cheats, they move on with their life, and sh that person never finds out. Yep. Unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately is right. Unfortunately, but that is that is life. Yeah. That is that's how it happens a lot of times. And so I thought it was super interesting, and I thought well done to do that to make uh, it's like this is not a made in heaven show. Right. This is real people and real they have people. problems, but right. the show is about the rockets and the science and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Getting into that, we obviously don't know. Um, for example, if if we watch certain films based on things we know about with American history, yeah. we can tell. Like if someone were to make a film right now about 9-11, we'd be able to have a really good idea about what yeah. was going on in the United States at that time and be able to check and balance it and say, that happened, that didn't happen. So we don't know. We don't know the, 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 his, the historicity of this. But what I love about the show is how much we learned. And I'm assuming they did their due diligence and their homework and made sure this was historically accurate. They use a lot of clips from real history, both audio and visual. And that's one of my favorite things about this show is because movies and television or storytelling it's a history lesson and i learned a lot about the history of the yeah. rocket program and yeah, the yeah, nuclear yeah. program i learned a lot about i thought it was really brilliant to have and i don't know if this was done for dramatic purposes or if this was really the genuine character of these two men how they both were right about why they wanted to do what they wanted to do mm -hmm. particularly as it pertained to getting to the atomic bomb yeah and how both of them were right about why the bomb should be made, should according be to Homie, and then, according to Vikram, why it shouldn't be made. Yeah. And I thought, felt like Prime Minister Nero had the exact same challenge going. He did well, too. I, liked I, him. I thought he did extremely well. Yeah, I thought everybody did really. Like, there were some scenes in here that I was like, I'm, like when um, Jim exploded. At, oh, um, the angry moment? The at. Was uh, it his partner that portrayed it, him in the end? Today? Yeah, it was. The, it was his. It was when they're. Um, it was the moment where his partner, uh, really good actor, who, who portrays. Um, it's with. It's with an M. Uh, dog on it. Where is he? Not day. Um, I'm not seeing it. Not day. Is it him? Mother. Mother. Yes. So K he and Mother. Casey Shankar. Yeah, they're arguing right as they're about to try to get up to the one megawatt or yeah. whatever the, the measure was. He's just going to ignore. And them. he's saying no, and he's saying yes, I'm going in, and he blew up and had that explosion. I thought my favorite episodes are of all of these. I thought these. they got better as they went along. Yeah, I like number one because of the way it introduced the show, and it was so good. I love the last two episodes. Yeah. I thought the last two episodes were so weighty and so well written and gave us the most emotion and yeah. it, it was I really well really well job. concluded season uh, one. And well, like I said, the production value of the costumes, the cars, the buildings, um, magnificent. They, they, I, I'm assuming they built that entire new like when that that actual nuclear thing that they had at the end. I'm assuming they yeah. built that. Yeah. It was all really well done. The costuming, the hair, the makeup. Top notch. All top notch. All uh, like award worthy. The yeah, and the attention to detail. Like we mentioned how it made us think about the Sherlock moment, right? With mm -hmm. the violin in the room. Yeah. But the other thing I thought of when they did a pullback POV when she comes into the room and you see what he's been up to, the first thing I thought of was the work the crew had to do to yeah, set yeah. that room up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, so many times there were moments like that where they did an aerial shot, like just setting up the party where he shows up with the trucks to show him the stone. All of that costuming, all of that prep, it's a night shoot. There's just an incredible amount of work and detail that went into this that's as good yeah. as movie making. And there was, there was a, a, a bunch in every episode almost of really good dr dramatic moments where you're on the edge of your seat. You're like, yeah. ooh, what's going to happen? So at the, and that, the score added to that. Like sure you're talking did. About, it was an amazing, suspenseful score yeah. at times, but really subtle at other times. The biggest issues I had, white actors. Um, Without question. Yeah. Always. And, and Except like for said, Mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, the, the, the FBI director, you could tell, I assume he's. I assume he's works here as well, and he's. A he sad does. Guy. I actually. I went to his IMDb page and I watched. He has about a five and a half, six minute reel, and I watched him. His the predominant amount of work he does is Indian, and his contact information is Mumbai. Okay. So the, and he speaks Hindi. Okay. So yeah. the, the predominant amount of work he's done, like I said, on his reel, we've seen him in. Uh, he was in Family Man. He was in Kasari. He had a scene with Akshay. He was in Ingrazi Medium. He does a scene with Irfan. 
uh, there's just the, the number of people that he has worked yeah, with. Yeah, you is could pretty, tell just pretty he impressive. Was, even in scenes with other white actors, he was a, a way step above Absolutely. everyone else. He was on the level of everybody yeah. else in the cast. And it was wonderful to see an actual white oh, actor be that good. I meant that, thank God. Uh, everyone else, <laughs> they weren't the worst. We've seen worse white actors, yes. but they just they weren't on the level of everyone else. Yeah. And then there were CGI moments, but I assumed the budget was low, and any time I assume a budget's low, yeah. you're going to have to... And when CGI isn't your predominant yeah. draw. There was like four or five times where there was... Like a CGA rocket or something right. like that. Totally understand. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that uh, and the fact that I saw, I felt at times it, it was rushing a little bit to uh, pacing for pacing because yeah. I assumed I didn't know that they would have a second season. Those are probably my biggest issues with it. But other than that, man, I, I just I really enjoyed this show. Yeah. Um, Steph watched uh, 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 most of the episodes with me. Sometimes mm. she fell asleep, but then she got really mad at Vikram. <laughs> Of course, I did too. She got real mad. It was especially shocking. She also got mad at Jim, but she was like, "You're an idiot." Well, it was especially shocking for Vikram to do what he did because yeah. of the two of them, the one who had to, who seemed to have a more definitive moral compass that guided his every decision, was Vikram, and for Vikram, and to and make, I to make again, mistake, yeah. this may have been done for artistic purposes. Uh, this happens quite a bit, where they change the setting for an event for dramatic purposes when it really didn't happen that way. I don't know if Vikram actually kissed the girl he was working with at the exact same moment his wife was dancing on stage and he should have been in the chair. Yeah. But for dramatic effect, it absolutely conveyed the reality of what you're doing in that moment. What it said, giving you the kind of the uh, analogy right there, was he has completely abandoned the thing that he was committed to. Yeah. And I thought that was done in an extremely A couple other great actors, way. the actor who played Raza. Um, yeah, he did a great job. A really interesting character. Uh, Dibyendu Bhattacharya. Really interesting character. Um, really good arc of the character, I thought. And I thought he was always really strong. And he was basically the antagonist most of he the show. He was, but what I loved about the way he was written and portrayed was as the antagonist, I understood. Like, why he was upset. Yeah. I understood his objections. I understood why he felt overlooked. Mm -hmm. I understood why he was angry that he hadn't been consulted. Yeah. I also understood that when they did the Democratic vote in that moment, it was a bit of an, an insult to him because that's not what he meant when he asked. And then you really get the... I, I loved... It reminded me there's a... If you... There's a book called Team of Rivals and it's about what Lincoln did after he won the election and he actually brought in the people who had vehemently opposed him because he saw the strengths that they had. And even though they said they detested him, he said, I, I want your vantage point. I know you won't kowtow to me. And I love that moment that they had with each other when he genuinely congratulates That's Homie. A good moment. And Homie con genuinely invites him to be a part of the team. I yeah. thought that was a very great moment and then um the guy who played apj which it was actually a really cool part of the show if it, if, it, if you guys can tell us if it was all accurate or whatnot yeah. but it was cool to see because we've seen speeches and we know about apj and we know how everybody he's so beloved and he, it was cool to see this younger side of him uh and in his like almost come up i love one of my favorite moments in all of the show i'm glad you mentioned him was when they're outside the prime minister's office with him for the first time and they're cool as cucumbers, and he's got his leg going, and they just they notice it without him noticing, and then they just all start their leg at the same time. <laughs> I thought that was a great moment. Yeah, there was a lot of good humor in this. A lot of it was. It's just a really well done show. Yeah. Um, maybe one day we'll get to a bad show, but I hope not. Yeah, I, I hope not. <laughs> so far, so good, man. I, yeah. I genuinely just uh, another great series to look forward to. And hats off again to that the entire team. If you've been involved with this show in any way, and you get to join in with season two, and yes, if you're not gonna hire us, please hire Mark Bennington. But we are for hire. Because, <laughs> because boy, was it a joy to, yeah. to watch a, a white actor in the role of a, the CIA guy and go, oh, a, he's so good. It was just a joy to not see somebody <sighs> bad in their role yes. opposite everyone else who's so, so good. good. It's, yeah. Because it's jarring when it happens. It really sucks. <laughs> Yeah. But anyways, uh, let us know what you thought about this series, which will be our next series, and how you what you thought about this format. Yeah. This, I mean, obviously we'd love to be able to do some, some in-person ones that we do episode by episode. Yeah. Obviously, this one didn't require that as much, I don't think, because it's a slower show. Yeah. But also, it's Sony LIV, so scam. You guys can let us know if you'd like to see a scam like this, scam uh, reaction, because basically all Sony live will have to be either like this or yeah. just... 
uh, I don't know. You guys can let us know uh, other options for that. But let us know what the next series we should review is down below.